this again. Well, basically, you're watching It's Been a While podcast. It's been a while. Thank you. Hello, hello. You are listening to the It's Been a While podcast. It's been a while. My name is Xavier. What's up, guys? Ian here. And this is the Shambana Cabra, David Bean. Austin speaking as well. We got our first special guest. First one. Uh, Austin. It's Ian's brother. He's uh, joined on this very blessed episode about Jason. Uh, Jason's going to be quite the guest, but before, uh, or the uh, topic, before <laughs> I get into that. Yeah, we got to shout out the boy. We got to shout out the man who opened up our episode for us. What's up, Shoe Nice? Thank you so much for that. Ooh, shoey. Game Shoe face. Nice. Shoe Nice, the legend. The absolute boy. The absolute pure legend. The unit. You know, he sang it. He sang it really well. Uh, we, we got some more special treats along those lines coming soon. Uh, but all right, the man of the hour, Jason, is uh, really wild. He's a, a fella on Instagram. He's also on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, we got his uh, thing right here: a horny sapiosexual asshole. Uh, about the same amount of followers on each uh, platform, around three thousand to like five thousand. Uh, and horny's listed first because it's the most important factor of Jason. He's horny. Jason Think about is one thing. <laughs> he's horny on the gram. As he's as horny as gets on the gram. Right. They say the average person thinks about sex what every like six seconds. How often <laughs> do you think Jason thinks about sex? It's gonna be like every half second. Dude, I'm thinking like three times a second. <laughs> three times a second. Jason's already planning his next sex. Uh, <laughs> let's just jump right into these. They're pretty wild. Uh, I'm going to read them. Uh, they're in no particular order. Also, these memes that he has are pretty funny because they are almost like trading cards. Because he has like maybe, I want to say 9 to like 12 different uh, pictures that he uses for these memes. And then he just plugs like the, you know, bottom text, top text on each one. Uh, but the pictures, there's only about 12 of them. So I, I don't know if they're supposed to be like categorized by that. Um, but it's just kind of interesting to see what picture of himself he picks for the meme. So, uh... Oh, so he doesn't just have, like, fresh pictures on all of these. <laughs> what? He's not just taking a fresh picture for all of these. He's just reusing no, the look, same... No, see, oh. yeah, take a peek here. These are, like... There's, like, 9 to 12. So yes. it's almost like they're categorized, but not really... Um, cause they don't really have anything to do with each other, the specific images he picks. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, we'll read through them. We'll, we'll just go through a couple to start out and then we'll get a little bit into Jason's life. Uh, if you see a white person dressed as a black person this <laughs> year to be funny, uh, I'm gonna dress like a cop and beat they ass. Pray for New York, it's flooded with bitches that ain't shit. <laughs> I really sad. I like the scarf. He uses this one a lot, so the scarf is is here to stay. That's what his you, favorite picture of himself. What, what it's think, one of the top. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think he's thinking? Like with this look right now. He's. I feel like he's staring at my soul. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> or did you just do? something? I think he's just horny. I think that's all that look is. Is horny. For the last photo. <laughs> He didn't need to dress as a cop at all. That's the co cop. Oh, he is kind of dressed like a cop. I didn't even realize beat that. Beat the ass. <laughs> and that little cop emoji kind of looks like a badge. It works for him. He could be him. anyone in that beat cop the emoji ass. is tripping. Look, Let's zoom in on that real quick. What's going on with this cop <laughs> emoji, dude? The <laughs> whole editor. <laughs> all right, bitches love talking about they dimes. I'm a grown ass man. I don't walk with change. <laughs> fat blank fuck better cause that belly be hitting that clit when they while they stroke <laughs> oh my Oof. god <laughs> chicks don't even have homegirls no more they got bitch ass blanks they call and gossip with <laughs> white people be wild <laughs> white people do be wild how are you gonna kidnap people then charge them 99.99 on ancestry.com to find out where they took them from what is it that's oh solid that's god. solid that's good <laughs> <laughs> this how I had three abortions talk about stop the killing bitch you too <laughs> see that one see what do these have it. anything to do with each other they're not like categorized unless they're both like these are like on the more violent side yeah that's so controversial but then pray for New York it's flooded with bitches that ain't shit that doesn't really fit in 
Yeah, with our white people be wild and, and this all had three abortions. So I they, I don't know if they're categorized or if it's just kind of like I'm feeling the scarf one today. It's got it. That's what it's got to be. Or if I'm be. feeling the pool pick. <laughs> <laughs> Probably like picking out a t-shirt for him. He that's a like c- that's I'm feeling this one today. That's a cigar. I was thinking that was like a Super Bowl ring almost. <laughs> yeah, you think it's like I picking out that. a shirt? That's a good that could be the case. There's no yeah. way he's putting thought into that at all. Why is that <laughs> he's like, I got to push out meme. <laughs> Why is that fence stair stepped? It's or, got like I feel like I've seen that a lot. It's usually when they don't have level ground. Okay, yeah. I guess it goes up to this yeah. pool. <laughs> Jason, j- building drunk. <laughs> All right. If your man don't slip and eat your ass out a little while going down on you, leave him alone. He don't love you. He's in like an alley looking real mischievous. <laughs> I'm about to steal white person's dog and wait till they put up a reward. I'm tired of fucking struggling. <laughs> Get rich quick scheme, huh? That's the plot of Oliver and Company. It's just this is the mind of Jason. <laughs> it's all good, it's all done. Cardi B said she fucked him and then got some money. Bitch is starting fucking for forty. <laughs> Look, it looks like he's not even seeing like complete thoughts sometimes, and these <laughs> these emojis are tweaking yeah, out, yeah. dude. <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He like drops like fifteen in a pile. <laughs> These blanks be real quick to hit a female, but walk right by a blank who robbed him. Again, look at There's like 15 dudes down here just stacked. Dear Lord, this is set you made for <laughs> shit. People out here got it coming out they mouth. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that a bad breath meme or or a talking shit? Yeah, meme? it could I be both. Like, yeah, little... I took it as bad breath initially, but I had the same thought. Oh, it's always a coin flip with Jason. Anything look, can have double meaning. Look, look how cute that little poop emoji is. He's an enigma. Yeah, he, what poop emoji is that from? What phone does he have? No, f- no phone has that poop emoji. That's some fucking MySpace uh, like photo <laughs> editor shit. <laughs> Pictures will do anything to let you know they got a man. OMG, babe took the onions off his burger. Hashtag soulmate. He's, like, drunk at a bar. Somebody's hand is on him, and he caught them completely out of the picture for this <laughs> meme. <laughs> he overexposed. They got a little pixelated. <laughs> Good pussy will have a blink watching Lifetime, which you talk about. I knew that bitch wasn't shit. <laughs> All right, let's get into Jason's life a little bit. We'll head back to the funnies yeah, here in a second. Getting beyond the macro images. What? So. Moving beyond the macro images. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to let's go down to who Jason is as a person. Right, because he's not a one trick pony. Do you want to see what he's eating? Let's see what he's eating. Because he's eating good. Let's, this yeah, is a basic thing. Everybody's got to eat. So let's see what Jason's eating. That looks pretty good. We got some shrimp. Uh, shish kebabs on some yeah, veggies. Yeah. Italian sauce going. Oh, wishbone. This uh, episode's uh, officially sponsored by Wishbone <laughs> uh, salad dressings. Ooh, you know, he's going with the steak. That looks like some very peppered potatoes back there. Or some firewood, even. <laughs> <laughs> some hearty starches back there. <laughs> Got the steak again. Or oh, is that it? Is, is that, that from that? After? Where yeah. does he post these? Is that like melon? Oh, that might be like melon. On all of the meat? Is this, yeah, is this straight to the Instagram? This is all like, a gram. Uh, I, got the, I went through the whole gram. This is him max on the gram. That's some Jamaican jerk, I think. That looks fire. <laughs> Got a little, got some greens, got some a little color, got some rainbow with the steak, a little bit of both. Best so of does both he worlds. post a meal pic every day? It's or just when he's frequent. eating good. It's frequent. Gotcha. Okay, so here's something I meant to mention a little bit earlier. Uh, Jason's gone through a couple of counts, and it's not for the same reason uh, Martin has, because uh, you know he's uh, a lot hornier than Martin. Martin definitely got a little horny here and there with Ernie's Red Rocket and stuff, uh, but. Jason's very horny very and direct. Uh, yeah, and very well. open about it. So Jason has lost a couple of counts, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jason has been shut down. Uh, I believe one of his handles is Minded Jason Four. I don't know if that's actually the fourth one. It also the real Minded Jason, real Minded Jason. He's on a, known as several different things across the uh, platform. So. Uh, you know, can't silence him though. Yeah, you cannot silence Jason. I don't know why why Zuck is trying so fucking <laughs> hard. Zuck versus Jason in virtually any contest, especially a physical fight, 
uh, Jason's whooping Mark Zuckerberg's ass, and I, I beg anyone to argue with that. What do you think of the cook off? <laughs> Mind a Jason dude, or off. Mark Zuckerberg smoking his meat? Smoking Mark meats. just smokes his meats, <laughs> dude. He's not fucking, dude, like, like, that, he's like making this in his house. Like, any woman would be lucky to have uh, Jason. And Mark Zuckerberg's wife is probably a robot he made in college. <laughs> Got some dumplings, some mystery meat. I don't know. It looks good. It's making me hungry. See, this one I don't know about. <laughs> Got milk, a Guinness, new Amsterdam vodka, and chili cheese Fritos. Best Fritos. Yeah, Mark Zuckerberg could never. <laughs> Even Mark Zuckerberg's meats that he smoked on the live stream probably taste like fucking horse shit compared to this little spread right here, dude. Jason knows what's up. I don't know what this is. Got some chicken, some just some noodles. So I'm, uh, he's going max Hello on protein. the way, dude. Yeah, yeah. He does not fuck around. Apparently, <laughs> even this. This is like one of the best simple meals you could prepare. Looks like some cheese, some eggs, some chips, some bagels, some water. Fuck it. It's done. You're in full. Like it's <laughs> it's over. <laughs> you tell me those are raw eggs. I don't know if he goes the Martin route and eat and uh, eat some raw. Who do you think could eat more raw eggs, Jason or Martin? Martin. <laughs> Martin, yeah. I, yeah. Martin or Zuck? I don't know. <laughs> do lizards right? <laughs> eat eggs? Yeah, no, Zuck, Zuck it might just... have it down. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It looks fucking good. He's got a spread, right. dude. Let's just fly through him. I don't know about that, but... Yeah. Everything well, else is pretty so? good. Yeah. Aphrodisiac. Yeah, dude, yeah you're, you're right. fucking around. <laughs> That's all. That's all. Has the, he ever put out <laughs> his photo so other people could make these memes he makes? I don't think so, bigger? dude. Now or that you mention that, him? I haven't. Uh, dude, I even think about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he's released the blank templates for these. You have to. Shop. I don't know why anybody would choose that image and then throw their own ideas on top of it. But <laughs> maybe I, I mean, should if reach they out. Just want to share in his legacy. To yeah, we should reach out to Jason to be like, hey, we can make money off of this. We can make an app. We can one, make an app. One dollar, you download it, you get all the blank JSON templates. And then you can make your own JSON meme with your own horny feelings, your own horny minded JSON thoughts. Million dollar idea. Or is it better that he's saying what everybody's thinking? He's saying he's braver need, than all of us. I think we need to leave the power with JSON. <laughs> from what I've seen so far. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's go. I have a bunch of random videos of Jason. Uh, or no, these are pictures of Jason. My bad. We'll go into the videos in a second. Let's just go through these these pics of Jason. <laughs> He's at the laundromat and he makes some wild videos at the laundromat. He's talking to himself at the laundromat, and getting wild. All these are photos he didn't. These does are just not make memes out of. Ever. Yeah, these are just random ones I pulled off his gram. His gram is memes. His grams are him being drunk, him being what, horny, what him just living his life. I I just think this is a calculator he really likes. Does he? <laughs> Does Jason have a job? <laughs> it's pretty. Uh, Jason, he used to work at a phone place because I've been following Jason for like probably almost a year now. Acro How many across kids the does account. this man have? Jason's single, dude. <laughs> and for to my knowledge, no kids. Um, I mean, maybe one run around here and there might be like. Uh, I mean, he's essentially like a real life black chubby quagmire. <laughs> so he probably has a kid somewhere, dude. Like easy. <laughs> but uh, he uh, he used to work at a phone place. I think like a cricket. A cricket wireless <laughs> yeah uh and uh, <laughs> i don't think he works there anymore i think he works in some sort of food service or bar service just based on comments um but nothing he doesn't really post it at his job he used to post at the cricket wireless job and he was like he would do like i think magic tricks and like hit on some of the girls he worked with but they thought it was funny and uh okay. he was he was wild he was wild at cricket wireless but maybe that's why he got fired or maybe he left I mean, I don't. I wouldn't want to work at Cricket Wireless. Here's Jason taking no. a shit at the mall. I think and just letting everybody know. Uh, drinking good, you know, Jason. Uh, drink good. Label. Uh, he went on a vacation about two months ago, and let's just say he vacationed. Hard. He lived it up. He lived it. Well, hard. if we go all inclusive, you got a ball out. <clears throat> yeah, he was at like four different hotels, I think, and he went hard. He's, you know, he's just living his best life. Much chilling. Uh, I think he tipped really well here. 
No, he didn't show what he tipped. He just showed he spent he <laughs> thirty-seven dollars. Thirty-seven dollars. That's not some crazy. Ass <laughs> <laughs> He's on vacation. He's getting getting that petty. <laughs> fucking it up, dude. <laughs> what? What this do you mean? Me? <laughs> dude, it's like a mom just posting <laughs> pictures of his kid, bro. I'm surprised that one hasn't been turned into a meme. Go back one. Okay, maybe he's trying to be too serious there. Uh, maybe. Supposed to be it's like silly. this won't work. This isn't one of the cards. <laughs> they need to be a collection. Yeah. Dude, I should have like categorized them and like tried to find common things between them or like they would be really good like Pokemon cards. Like just a little collection. Just need if you can figure them. out Fuck the what- app. Put hit points on. <laughs> No, I'm going to make an <laughs> offer to our uh, listeners right now and just say if you can find the connection between uh, which pictures Jason uses for what, you can be our next guest on the podcast. <laughs> you can replace Austin. That's some real deal conspiracy board shit. Have, like, all of those up on a wall. The red yarn and everything. Oh, them. yeah. <laughs> Fucking it up, dude. With the mirrored ass shades and cigars. Ooh, he didn't, like, what did he not plug on his shirt? He, like, blocked it with these emojis. He's like, fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> where's the decision? Are they ain't paying me. Out. Yeah, he lost his brand deal and he covered that shit up. He's, be, he's being silly. He probably touched one of those big electric balls at like yeah, a science yeah, I was museum. Say, that hair is. Dude, he's just showing the messy hair days. Oh, I wish the next one was in, in that position. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a fun little yeah, this is just chilling. Bam, bam. Do not fuck with <laughs> me. <laughs> Did he post those all on his Instagram next to each other? I don't know. I pulled okay. all his it's Instagram own videos album and then on I, Facebook. Yeah. I pulled it all and then I just went through and got like the best. <laughs> he reposts a lot of memes, a lot of really horny memes, but I didn't want to focus on what he reposted. I really just wanted to go into <laughs> him being goofy, yeah. him just him not making the memes because he, you know, nobody's mad at Jason besides Mark Zuckerberg, but he can fucking suck it, uh, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, but besides that, nobody's that That's mad sense. at Jason. I don't think so. Did, did I, I mean, yeah, he doesn't really need to be yeah. defended, but like this is him in his most natural. You know, it's just being him. Is yeah, Jason think, the least problematic content creator out right now? He might be. He, it's the real <laughs> mind. So I will. This is. A, I can't think of a better way to tangent to this. So he. I have seen one particular comment. Um, I might have told one or two of you about this, where somebody really said something that was pretty intense, more intense than Jason says, or maybe along the lines of Jason's most intense uh, memes, and he commented back and was like you know i'm like joking right like i'm paraphrasing what he said but he was basically like you know i don't actually i'm not acting this way towards women or people (laughs) in my life so you know jason is the mind of jason is what we're getting that doesn't mean he's acting a fool in public this is just those memes are just jason when you know this is his outlet so that he doesn't say that shit in public uh here's another one him shitting this is what I believe I mean, is at his house. Now, this is his friend. Uh, I won't say her name. He's really good friends with her. Uh, I'm pretty sure he wants to fuck her. Uh, look, <laughs> at, look at that face. And in this picture, it was, a, it was a very drunken caption that I did go through the comments. Jason said he did not post the, uh, the, uh, the caption. He said it was her. <clears throat> and it looks like she took the picture because his hand's right here. But... Uh, Jason acts pretty horny towards her. She's pretty jo- uh, jokey about it, and definitely is not gonna bang Jason. Um, but just, just homies. Yeah, they're just homies. Uh, let's go into some random text pics of Jason's Alexa play <laughs> with my dick. <laughs> Why do you hashtag Classic. Alexa though? Yeah, I don't. I guess it's probably trending. Smart. Yeah. I, all right. Who the fuck? Is, I guess on well, Twitter people are just like, me. I'm 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 doing shit up with my Alexa. I guess people are just tweeting that, right? I just did some shit with my Alexa. (laughs) 
I enjoy watching Chinese porn, but I wish just once in a while they would use a different couple. Oof. Jason's a little racist. Okay, so not the least problematic. Jason's not the most pro- least problematic. Uh, he is uh, black, obviously, but he gets into some other races a little bit. He don't. Uh, oh, he's not completely. Uh, it's usually in these text posts is when he. Uh, gets into them. I hate it in movies when they have sex scenes and both the man and the woman both orgasm at the same time. The only time me and my girl had orgasm at the same time, she didn't even know I was in the cupboard. That's uh, fucking... I don't like that one. That's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Why is it his girl? Why is he jacking off in the cupboard? That just makes it like... It just is, it's his a, a girl, not his. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, you, Dude, I thought of my girl. No, that, that changes <laughs> everything for you. Also... As it does. I I'm a little thrown off by the use of the word cupboard instead of closet. No, why is, like why is he watching his girl <laughs> fuck or masturbate in, in her kitchen? kitchen? Yeah. Dude, yeah. He's on a porn set. <laughs> <laughs> he's on a movie set where they're having sex in the kitchen. <laughs> Today was the last day of summer. Bitches, brace yourselves because 90% of y'all fucking blanks. That's going to need a place to stay for the winter. <laughs> He comes at other people a lot. Uh, when you roll over halfway asleep and take a big chug of the water next to your bed and that shit's straight vodka, ew, what the fuck? <laughs> is, he, is he sipping Not vodka? Out these are all glass? from the same day, I just realized In that. Bed? These are all from September 29th. Oh no, it's the next day. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I act like everything is okay, but deep down I really want to walk away in slow motion from something blowing the fuck up. Everybody does, Jason. <laughs> Relatable content. <laughs> it okay. This one I love. I think he was drunk. It is crazy how saying sentence backwards creates backwards sentence. Saying how crazy it is, and I'm gonna read that backwards. Is it crazy how saying sentence backwards creates backwards sentence? Saying how crazy is it? That is not he like. I get what he was going for, but he fucked but it, up it didn't work. three times, like, in that. <laughs> he was sipping on that bad vodka. Also, that's not, yeah. <laughs> that fucking night table, mid, middle of night, 4 a.m. vodka. Ew, WTF. This is a 9, 19 a.m. Yeah, dude, he took a big chug right when he woke up. Dude, that one's legit. Look, he literally tweeted that when it happened. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> think I don't need a vacation I just fought out the shower made big fist <laughs> getting dressed and realized I didn't wash the soap out my hair there's not really like a joke there it just like actually happened to him I guess <laughs> the world is filled with darkness but there's so much light you just have to open your eyes does that cancel out the Chinese one no, <laughs> no absolutely not <laughs> he's trying to, to be inspired but there is a lot of <laughs> so much light in Jason's world that's why he's always wearing the sunglasses <laughs> how's my sex life plan was to jerk off but came home so tired I forgot and showered ugh not dirtying my dick now <laughs> what the fuck Jason 8.41pm I mean I've been there not at 8 well at 8.41am <laughs> <laughs> bro if I wake up for one more fucking time it's 7.11am he just, like, <laughs> he just actually woke up and was like fuck I'm poor <laughs> still me cricket wireless isn't paying his bills <laughs> Twitter Dropping Android. all these fucking fat restaurant checks. This episode's uh, not uh, sponsored by that dressing company anymore. It's now sponsored by Cricket Wireless. <laughs> <laughs> One like. <laughs> People with jobs. What's worse, the work snitch or the wannabe manager? It's manager. They're usually the same person. Hmm? They're usually the same person. That's fair. He's got bad engagement. One like out of 3,000 followers. <laughs> Some people just they don't want to... Everybody wants to read what Jason's saying, but they don't want to back it up. <laughs> no, I, I like how he went. People with jobs. <laughs> so he. <laughs> like, Dude, I'm he making like ninety percent of America. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> People with jobs. Yo, y'all got every wait, y'all. Yo, y'all every every quit a job <laughs> application halfway through because they already asking way too fucking much. That was hard to read. Yo, uh, y'all but yeah, I actually quit. have. Relatable. Yeah, that's true, dude. Some of them 100, like, multiple choice to work at, like, Target. Fuck you. Fuck Hire you, Target. before I give you my soch. This episode is not sponsored by Target. <laughs> I'm glad cars were invented. Imagine waking up your horse at 3 a.m. to go get some pussy. <laughs> Imagine your horse drinking vodka at 3 a.m. on accident. 
Women always saying how handsome I am. Come f what is that? Come fuck it. Does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I've never I, seen I no that. Idea. you never seen it. You prepared these. I think there's just an extra T and he spelled come with a K. Yeah! <laughs> Prove it. Let me fuck then. Note to self, do not look at nudes when sitting on a toilet. Bro, I've been sitting here for 15 minutes <laughs> waiting for this to go down so I can get it out the bowl. <laughs> Until I see a turkey pig, I ain't no, f ain't no fucking turkey bacon. <laughs> Who the fuck has sober casual sex? If we meet the first time and you see me chugging them shots, yep, I'm about to try and fuck. <laughs> oh my god. What a messy man. <laughs> Two likes. <laughs> Two likes. All right, we can jump through these. <laughs> the real mind of Jason. So, went through all that. Uh, here's him getting a uh, copyright strike just to show they don't really like a. They don't like him violating his shit. Uh, also, here's another text post. I don't know why this one's different. Oh yeah, because he dropped the hard hour. I thought that was. Uh, interesting uh to just drop the hard art for no reason and <laughs> like all the other ones do not have that and then that does uh this is something <laughs> this is one of the this is a, an example of what he's reposting this is why <laughs> i didn't want to get too deep into what he's reposting uh it's it's along these lines lady if a man can't put nothing in your purse don't let him put anything in your batty hole <laughs> Yeah, your batty hole is really fucking funny. Not even him tongue. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's Where is so, <laughs> so this content about about coming from? I'm thinking it's saying, like, if he's not paying you. <laughs> oh, word. Because I was immediately, like, just thinking, ladies, if your man has such toxic masculinity, he won't let you hold anything of his in his purse. No. If, he doesn't, purse. if your man doesn't have a purse, <laughs> don't fuck him <laughs> No, it's if he's not it's putting not just putting money. Satchel. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> And then finally, here's another thing that uh, Jason's reposting. I believe I don't think he made this. If he did, that's even funnier. Uh, it's me staring at my girl pussy while she's asleep. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he's down yeah, what, on his knees. <laughs> what is that Slip. bad emoji though? Like, is that a fucking Sasquatch? <laughs> what the rat is this even a do you see that person that looks like sasquatch laying in there I totally think that's does. like clip art no dude look right there the tie looks like a gray like f monkey face on the top that's what i'm saying dude sasquatch. <laughs> jason <laughs> or like jason a gorilla. Gorilla. i don't know the grim reaper maybe me staring at my sasquatch pussy was just <laughs> jason got hoes they all look like sasquatch though <laughs> Bars. Coming at you, Jason. No, JK. No, Jason. In front of the show, uh, in front of the family, we have a couple of your memes that Xavier likes to just tape up around our house. Uh, More than a couple. They're solid. We've some have gone down, so I think there's only a couple left standing. <laughs> all right, I got 43 videos of Jason. We do not have to go through all 43 of these. We're at a pretty good uh, duration so far. So by the end. By the, like halfway through these videos, we'll see where we're at. We'll, we'll see uh, how much more Jason we want for tonight. But oh, shit, oh, shit. If we are wise, we know that there Take this, we'll see you on vacation. Tomorrow, same time next week. Or karaoke, all right? That's same time next that's week. That's that girl. Was it, I was about to say, is that the friend? Yeah, it's her recording them. Yeah, I'll totally eat your asshole, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Two phones. Yeah, you look so good right now. <laughs> you even hiding it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he just shows that he's filming her. Look at her. She's just disgusting. I love how you put that in your mouth. I don't know who that this is. Totally <laughs> blew my penis. Is she at work? What's your phone number, mommy? Dude, she's taking calls. You have something on your teeth, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You know, your teeth are white. Like, obviously, she likes him enough to be shit. just like <laughs> FaceTiming him at work. At least she got the AirPods. You better not hang up on me, motherfucker. No, everybody's not hearing that. But you look cute today, though. Bumbuck. <laughs> work. Really, babe? Taking a shit. Taking a shit. Put on my blue <laughs> shoes and I. Bro, that sounds about good. That's a copyright strike. <laughs> this is when he's waiting for his boner to go down. <laughs> Figuring out things to do.
smile is good. <laughs> that one was good. <laughs> He's not at home. Showing you doing his chores. Just clean the microwave. Uh. Yeah, between. <laughs> Dude, watching this shit for the refrigerator, the thing for my microwave, I'd be freaking out because all that glass, I am not all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some good music, <laughs> a good vibe, and a few drinks, I will clean the fuck out of this apartment. <laughs> my favorite part after. That's an like oh empty my. fridge, Jason! After cleaning. You go shopping, Jason. <laughs> Just how this blast it. Blast it. Fuck, did I miss a spot? <laughs> <laughs> it's so raw. Everything froze. Everything froze. I like froze. it so froze. I even watched my AC filter because it's about to be cold in this bitch. <laughs> was that was, was that all the same video? That's one like... video that he posted. Okay. That was one video. <laughs> <laughs> My shit burning a little bit, but yo, this is gonna be my new shit because I am tired of cutting my balls. Yeah. He's nearing his nuts at the end. Yeah, this is real truth. Like the whole shit. <laughs> so one of my customers told me about this shit. And I was <laughs> this like, shit. Yeah, there's gotta be some bullshit. One of his customers. I mean, it still yeah, so he's got a job at this point. But not like so somebody, get, selling drugs. somebody Cricket Wireless is like, yeah, just put this nair on your nuts and all the hair yeah. comes off. How did that even come off? <laughs> <laughs> he said, my shit tingling. Yeah, like this video. My, this my shit, shit tingling. So right now. I'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. If we're in retail, people are ready to tell you some fucking shit, bro. They're yeah. ready to put everything on you because they know you can't escape right i feel like <laughs> you're there Jim jason Payne. said something that triggered it he's like oh that happens to you here i got this for you <laughs> yeah jason Hold was like dude my a asshole itches so bad from fucking just being so hairy and he's like dude after you finish typing uh my phone plan up i gotta <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna blow out <laughs> his ass i mean that's that knocking where the black label was out. <laughs> was it? I think so. <laughs> Dude, we're piecing it together. <laughs> Oh, this is okay. You know, that Dude, beard is something else, too. Yeah, like, me and Austin were talking about that earlier. Way, but you have no idea what's going You're on. saying he definitely yeah. goes some like professionally, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guaranteed. So yeah, bro, you gotta go I see an artist get lined up like that. Saturday. <laughs> and, uh. Cause I was freaking out. I have I had no idea what fucking day it is and shit. <laughs> it's just okay. Okay. How are you? Hi, how are you? Stevens. Yes, sir. Awesome. Not bad. How are you? Ooh, so hi. We got a last name. <laughs> oh yeah, it's on his Facebook. Oh my lord. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, vacation, Jason. It's it's the best. I'm never drinking again. <laughs> Relate him. So fucking yeah. dead right now. I swear. You think that yeah, eyebrow I'm, thing is like a scar or style? I'm gonna try not to leave this hotel. Cause it could look like it could be either. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea. You see what I mean? Cause his eyebrows are kind of funky in oh general. Jason, you got funky eyebrows in an empty fridge, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> Jason, though, friend of the show. Uh, we we, we love, love you, Jason. <laughs> Just how he looks. We love everything except the one Chinese no, one. He doesn't get his beard done. Real. And the Just stuff you said about Indian Uber drivers, I didn't want to. I won't show that. <laughs> Enjoy the birthday weekend. Enjoyed everything here. <laughs> Yo, I was dead checking in just now, and somebody tapped me on my shoulder, and it was some guy that was hanging out at the Coyote Ugly with me this weekend. So yeah, he's chilling at Coyote Ugly on the vacation. Hell out. yeah, respect. Telling you, girl. Thank you for inviting me out. Hello, we got claimed for this already. Haha, ha, Jason was listening to Freak a Leak by Petey Pablo and Legacy Records did not like that. Haha, ha, Jason don't give a shit though, he will listen to this shit on AP. Lane la 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 soy 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 sorry about this. 
Jason does what he wants. Horny boy status 24 7, 365. Let's try to take him down. She's so distracted. <laughs> God damn, dude. He listens to all types of music, too. Dude, we're gonna have to just record over these with this. I'll sing the song. <laughs> 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 Bougie. He really had to put his drink down to do that? He's filming. I guess we could put it on the suitcase, bro. Dude, he's drunk. <laughs> but I'm low key so jet lagged and tired that I'm just gonna have breakfast and go back to bed. I'm not even. <laughs> so, uh, in this next one, apparently. Not every CVS has a liquor store, and I guess that makes sense in states like uh, like North Carolina, South Carolina, and shit, where it's the red dot. Fuck ABC bullshit. stores. ABC package store, not sponsored by ABC package <laughs> store. Um, officially sponsored by CVS, which is the next video here. Um, truly, though, we would take a CVS sponsorship. So uh, holler at CVS. Um, but apparently, not all liquor stores have, or not all CVSs have a liquor section, and is blowing Jason's fucking mind. Yo, San Diego Rocks, they got a whole motherfucking liquor store in the fucking CVS. That shit dope. is crazy. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that shit. That's so dope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who the fuck do people think they are? I'm recording that video of the thing just now, and this guy stopped next to me. Are you recording me? So I'm like, are you a celebrity or something? <laughs> a little bit. I said, nigga, I don't know who the f <laughs> A little bit? <laughs> I don't know who the fuck you are. Fuck you, I don't give a fuck about you, nigga. Don't step to me. Get the fuck out of here. I already had four drinks. <laughs> I had four drinks. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> How he speaks. Dude, getting double teamed. Get that shit done. Get me out of here. <laughs> Listen, I know y'all probably want memes and jokes and shit, but I swear right now, I don't even give a fuck about y'all. I'm just Ooh. <coughs> Jason. having a good ass time. So you could either unfollow or just shut the fuck up and wait. For <laughs> he wants to post but doesn't want people to bring up. Ooh. <laughs> At least he's straight up. <laughs> We've been good horny JSON videos. Because I feel like the horniness level's dropped off a little bit. No, these are a I'll lot of his out. videos I'm are not horny. Morning, it's a lot of just the memes. That's what I'm saying. It's died. multifaceted. Memes. That's where he gets it out. Of. Died. I had no idea what time it was. <laughs> this is just drunk. I, I'm just now coming back into the room, and it's three hours later. And <laughs> all right, so the where next is he from? What is his voice? His accent. I'm not sure where I he lives. I saw was. something about San Antonio, I thought. Yeah, I'm not sure where he lives. Uh, Bro, Texas doesn't have fucking alcohol out there. Yeah, what CBS? the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Because they sell... When I was What's in San up? Antonio, I got <laughs> beer at a gas station, so I don't know why they would never well, see no, beer. Well, no, no, they, in, the, in the States with those, you can sell beer. You can't sell hard liquor, though. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't remember if there was liquor or not. Some rap shit. I never got yeah, carded one time in the state of Texas, fuck. though. <laughs> well, teaser. Well, we will have a crackhead episode. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we get down with the crackheads. <laughs> crackheads, there's a spectrum of crackheads. I fuck with some crackheads. <laughs> When they're a safe distance away and I'm looking at them on a screen. <laughs> some crackheads are funny, but yeah, some of them I'm not. No. <laughs> so here's some old Jason vids from YouTube. Now for just $19.95, you can get the ass wiper shipped directly to you. But wait, what? there's more. If you order in the next 10 minutes, I this we not only send you one, <laughs> but we send you two refills. So call now and get the ass wiper 3000. Do we get a call? See? Reusable. The ass wiper 3000. Get it today for only 19.95. <laughs> <laughs>
Chase dude, I love it. The internet. Dude, that's some like it's like the Tim and Eric like Doug Pound editing. I love it. Like, and I don't know when Jason made these videos. I just know that he pulled them out of the archive for the viewers. But like, looks like Jason was kind of paving the way with some alt humor. Like. Ahead of his time. I'm not saying I'm not saying Jason's Tim and Eric, but now everybody's obsessed with having a big ass. All these girls, y'all be doing squats, y'all be doing injections, y'all be doing all this shit to get fat asses. And as a guy, I do love a fat ass. I am so tired of bending a girl over to hit that. I guess that's pretty recent, never mind. I part the cheeks. Do you think he filmed that in the mall? I hope not. I hope not. Let's assume that. Oh, this is the beginning of the ad, my bad. Played him on order. It's non corrosive. You put it on like that. You know, you already got your ass sticking up. You don't have to do it like me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what up, motherfuckers? So I want to tell you all about this superpower I have. Yeah. It's called teleporting. What it does is, like, every time I drink vodka, I disappear and reappear somewhere else. So I'm going to show you how it works. Here you go. Let's get ready. It's going to telefart. <laughs> Only with vodka. You see, the crazy thing about this shit is I never know where I'm gonna end up. Now I'm in a motherfucking supermarket. I'm telling you, it's fucking telly fart. <laughs> <laughs> you see, this is what the fuck I'm saying. Now I'm at a freaking deli. I keep telly farting all deli. day every time I take a sip. Now I'm scared to take a fucking sip. So, ladies, if I ever. Ever, ever end up in your fucking bedroom late at night? Don't get mad. I just got wasted and telly farted, you know? So. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's Jason, pretty much, uh, uh, give or take. Real minded Jason. Real minded Jason. Yeah, I don't think we really game. got to the bottom of anything in this episode. I think we've raised more questions than answers. Yeah, I don't know if there's much to investigate. I don't think he's actually doing anything bad. I don't think he, the only bad things he's doing is he's saying some stuff about uh, Chinese people and Indian people that he probably shouldn't be. But that's about it. And I'm pretty sure he's joking. I hope he is at least about uh, those things. The other stuff, he can be horny. Oh yeah, he's not hurt. I don't there, think there he's. Things. I don't think he's hurting anybody with the horniness. Uh, but before we go, um, it seemed like after the last three episodes we made, which were Chuck E. Cheese, Martin Cabello, and uh, Black Friday, in that order, uh, shit went down with those three things immediately after. Uh, they happened, so I'm going to try to keep tabs on a lot of our topics, so if anything major happens, uh, well, if something big enough happens, we'll definitely just make a, a sequel, uh, you know, I'm sure enough will happen with Martin to where we'll revisit uh, him and his, uh, his tomfoolery, um, but there's a few things that we can just touch up on with those three topics real quick, uh, I just thought they were definitely worth it, so uh, I think this was like the day after, or maybe like a couple days before we filmed the podcast about Chuck E. Cheese. I didn't actually f catch this, uh, but Chuck E. Cheese is getting rid of the animatronics Wow! in the God. Chuck E. Cheeses. So they're making some major changes over 80 locations, which is most of them, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese tells People Magazine, uh, <laughs> jumping into the new decade by revitalizing their brand and axing some of the most iconic looks for a more fresh, modern appearance, complete with a new logo and color scheme, refined signage, interactive light-up dance floor, and brighter lighting. Chuck E. Cheese is coming into the 2020s not fucking around. I don't know... Maybe this, maybe they decided this right after our pod, and they're coming at Dave and Buster's. And Yo, we, we should see if we can buy one of these. Okay, <laughs> you buy one of them now that they're in the animatronics. Yeah. yeah. Do you think the? Oh, I thought you meant a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I they pay for their franchise to remodel. Well, somebody um, who franchised it. We in the one we uh, they made 125 million last quarter. Like I don't know, they didn't make that, but they brought yeah, in 125 yeah. million. So like they. 
make enough that maybe they've been banking it away. Chucky's been hiding it away in his little fucking rat hole. He's been yeah. storing money for years for this. He's been waiting to come for Dave and Buster's to come at him. <laughs> he can fucking snap back. <laughs> and I've actually learned a couple new things about Chuck E. Cheese since the last podcast. Uh, the one is that Champagne, our recording location, did actually used to have a Chuck E. Cheese, and apparently it didn't do so well. Um, so I learned that the other day. I also learned Chuck E. Cheese is by far the place that has the most fights on record. Is it official? Just, as far as po- fights that are re- reported to the police, they are officially number one. Well, it's I guess, not yeah. even fucking close. Because I guess 10 out of 10 fights that happen there are being reported, like, hands down. You know, at some McDonald's shit probably goes down and they're like, fuck it. You know, I'm not talking to no cops. <laughs> like, at Chuck E. Cheese, all parents call the cops, period. Like, no matter what. There's no way you're in a Chuck E. Cheese where everybody's like just like, fuck it. They're but again, I think it's just too <laughs> high octane. Blown fist and, fight. yeah, they're also not serving beer at McDonald's. True. Do you think the big, yeah. the big cheese is weeping or do you think he's losing his fucking mind because he's going to oh. have his garage full of these things? Do you think Big Cheese has enough money to buy all this shit up? Well, what the fuck? What, what else are they going to do with it? But they're probably selling it for, like, what it... They're probably selling it because they know what some motherfuckers will pay for it. Yeah, what motherfuckers will pay for that shit, they're definitely... P- <laughs> Dude, they're putting that shit up for, like... Yeah, hundreds of piece easy. I'm guessing like minimum. You can get like a broken Pasquale for five hundo, maybe. Dude, I'm I'm saying it. we'll look into that. Maybe we'll report back next episode. Maybe we'll have a fucking Chuck E. Cheese animatronic, uh, and he'll be the fourth host. Pasquale is our guest host. <laughs> it's gotta stay in your room. Fuck that, dude. That shit. That's like real Five Nights at Freddy's. It would just fucking come alive. Nice. Yeah, I don't, want, I don't want that anything near me. Um. So yeah. It's pretty crazy. Um, this part I don't actually understand. Perhaps the most shocking consequence of the change is the departure of their famous animatronic band as previously eulogized by Father John Misty. What the fuck? In favor of the centralized dance floor where kids' feet light up on the floor as they move around. Uh, that's wild. Guests can still go stock up on tokens, enjoy the last days of the robot performers. Animatronics. You see the Chuck E. Cheese farewell tour. <laughs> <laughs> Our animatronics are clear, are certainly legendary, and they bring they bring up fond childhood memories for millions of adults ac- and fans across the country. Uh, CEC's entertainment chief executive Tom Leverton told CBS in 2017 when the change was announced. Oh, what? That was announced in 2017. Dude, I did not find shit about that. As we move forward, we believe our live Chuck E. Cheese experience provides the best entertainment value for kids who have higher expectations of realism and special effects. I guess that makes sense. Like, every kid is like, that's fucking fake. I mean, like, most kids surely did that before, but, like, now I'm sure every Aren't kid they more is more like- comfortable with the robots, though, than the mascots, actual people in costumes? Uh, from um, historically, what YouTube says, yeah, there's more people afraid of the actor in the suit than uh, animatronics. Most people, most kids will go up and dance with the animatronics. There's a couple of videos of kids getting like, it's like, the animatronic of Chuck E. Cheese hit my kid! And they're like dancing on stage with it and it bumps them. And it's like, yeah, you fucking dumbass. Of course <laughs> that would happen. The, don't clickbait with that title. I thought the kid was going to get bitch slapped by Pasquale. <laughs> He's getting hit in the head with a drumstick. <laughs> I, don't clickbait me with that shit. So yeah, I didn't play any of those in the in our episode. Um, so yeah, Chuck E. Cheese. Um, kids will also be able to eat the Chuck E. Cheese pizza and play their games in their own home thanks to the new delivery box launched last month. Um, I'm didn't get the picture of that but there's basically like a little ball toss thing like it's like a 3d um pizza box it's it's stupid i don't understand it um they're bringing 30 new items to the menu they're gonna have pizza with cauliflower crust i don't know who the fuck since they're remodeling uh, already they, they're like up up the kitchen bringing unicorn churros i see that at the bottom yeah uh some fun uh, menu additions like barbecue chicken pizza and unicorn churros i would try a unicorn churro Churros come in a cute unicorn cup and feature sugar-coated pink, green, and blue churros that are flavored like cotton candy, sour green apple, blue raspberry, respectively. I don't know about the apple one. I don't know about this. But the other two I would want to at least try. I don't want to give... I don't Bro, give let's Chuck- steal a kid, go to Chuck E. Cheese, and we'll figure out what's going on with these animatronics. <laughs> you shouldn't steal kids. I just want to throw that out for our listeners. Don't steal kids. <laughs> just um, borrow them. So that was the wrap-up nope. of uh, what happened with Chuck E. Cheese. 
Um, we also have some uh, exciting news from Martin. Uh, I don't think Martin ever actually heard me request that he be in the podcast, but obviously a lot of other people are trying to get Martin to get a vi an interview, and uh, he made this video. Um, so if you all, you all remember Alan Jerry from that episode, Alan Jerry were uh, members in his neighborhood, um, and basically this is what he said. Interview. People ask me to be interviewed for their podcast, YouTube channel, and morning shows all the time, and I decline. But I will accept if you can interview my neighbors, Al and Jerry, about how many rape situations they were known for setting up in their past to induce... So he put it out ideas. there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that interview with Al and Jerry, unfortunately. Um, but I, I don't know if somebody is going to try. Uh, but somebody might... This get, man is unhinged. Somebody bro. might get an interview with Martin. Uh, if this is fulfilled, I'm not going to try it because um, I'm just going to sit back and kind of see what happens with Martin. Um, like I said, we'd be down to revisit him uh, eventually. Um, but I, I don't think I'm going to poke him with a stick uh, at all. Uh, <laughs> I was disgusted with his community. <laughs> I was kind of on the fence. I didn't think Martin was really doing too much bad. I, you know, I didn't. But now he's kind of got like a call to arms. That to, is, uh, yeah, this is kind of the same his, thing. Fuck like, with his neighbors. So, I, you know, I'm, my support has yeah. waned a little bit. Yeah. I do have. It's GoFundMe. It's kind of, yeah. here's my information. Yeah. So I don't. The info, the info is a little too easy uh, to get. But hopefully Al and Jerry didn't actually do this. Hopefully they don't get interviewed. And hopefully Martin just goes back to working out in his house and fucking around. and with Drink, the, Drinking the, eggs. Yeah, I drink don't want to interview them, but I wish we could just talk to Al and Jerry and be like, yo, what the fuck is up with do this? You, what if they don't, like, what if they're like, oh, yeah, I saw that guy, like, out, make, like, filming himself in his yard. Like, what if that's the extent? What if they've never talked to Martin? I think I said that in the episode. What if they don't know who Martin is? Like, that's the wildest thing. Yeah. If it's, like, all delusion, then, like, they, like, who the f Martin? Oh, but Martin's down going down real viral right now, dude. Because so, the Cabellos? Like, yeah, the Cabellos live down at the end of the block. They seem like a nice couple. Like, what if that's what Alan Jerry like? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know the Cabellos. Um, <laughs> also, on a, a lighter note with Martin, somebody made a rap. Uh, their name is Sealy. Uh, shout out to them. I'll put a link to this song um, because I think it's one of the funniest fucking things on earth. <laughs> She's going to be stuck in my head all night again. Dude, it's been in my head all fucking day at work. <laughs> policy. Do you know how many views this has on SoundCloud? Did you look? Um, it wasn't that much. I think it was like 6,000. So hopefully that goes up. Um, but Martin has gained 200,000 followers in uh, like 9, 10 days. So uh, yeah, pretty wild uh, there. He's still growing pretty exponentially. So that's uh, Martin. That's a pretty good uh, thumbnail to end it on, him and, uh, him and Sophie. Uh, <laughs> and then finally, uh, something went down on Black Friday. I'm really glad something went down on Black Friday. <laughs> we got a fucking good, good fight video from Black Friday from two members of the military in a Walmart. So here we go. Uh... A Black Friday fight in the middle of a Walmart. This is in the Christmas wrap aisle of the Murrieta Walmart. Set off when an elderly woman's card bumped one of those men. He responded rudely. The other guy came to the woman's defense. Both combatants are Marines. One retired. It ended when that security guard intervened. One of them had a broken nose, but nobody wanted that to one is still green is fucked. He's going to be in so much trouble. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Let's watch one more time. Did you see everyone? Everyone's like kind of cheering it on too. Like. Yeah. Well, I guess I, I I think the older guy was fucking with the old lady when she bumped him on accident. It's like it's Black Friday. Get real. Got bumped. Chill the fuck out. One of those men. He responded rudely. The other guy came to the woman's defense. Both combatants are Marines. One retired. Dude, he took his hands off him, so he was like, "All right, you're not gonna take your hands off him, then I'm making an example out of you." Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Wow, yeah. So yeah, and that's funny that it wasn't even over like a toy or something. Like, yeah, most of the Black Friday videos Heart we bump. saw were people trying to like get some shit. <laughs> this dude was just disrespectful and got his ass beat. <laughs> All right, so that about wraps it up. So, uh, 
ending uh, thoughts, Jason. Um, I'm gonna extend it out to you. You want to have an interview? I'll definitely talk to you. We can shoot the shit uh, about your favorite memes. If there's any sort of uh, uh, theme to why you pick each pick for each meme. Uh, and so on and so forth. And we should ask about his grooming products, too. The man is meticulous. Yes. He, yeah, he don't fuck around. And he's, I think he's sober right now. I think he's not drinking. He goes in spurts of uh, drinking and not drinking. Uh, if you do start drinking again, I would love to have an interview with both drunk and non-drunk Jason Ooh. at different times. That'd be interesting. Yeah, a bit of a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde scenario, possibly. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Makes all the memes. <laughs> Wasted. These, for, yeah, yeah, he probably does make them all wasted. You're right. <laughs> all right, thanks for uh, being on the pod, Austin. We'll definitely yeah, have you on thanks, again. Man. Yeah, we're trying to have uh, a couple new guest hosts for you guys every time we put out a new episode. Yeah, uh, get some fresh voices in here so you don't get sick of hearing us talk to you. Right. Yes, we have plenty of topics. Uh, I think like seventy right now. Planning out plenty of those, and uh, we've been doing them like every five days or so. It, it'll be a little give or take, uh, but hopefully we stick to similar to that. It's not. It's not too demanding. All right, have a good one. Take Later. it easy. Peace.